Get down, get down, get down. Wait, nope. Turn that way. <gasps> um, go that way. That scared the living. Oh my god. Greetings, are you lovely ladies and gentlemen of the internet? I am Flaming Raven, and welcome to Poppy Playtime. Now, just a few things for I say before I start this video. I have recently played Project Playtime, which was a really fun, uh, it was like a multiplayer version of this, I guess, where you got to play as the monsters. And also, coincidentally, around the time that I was planning on recording this, it got, like, a massive update, and now it's all remastered, Chapter 1 and stuff, and so, yeah, let's check that out for the first time. <laughs> I also hope that it doesn't freeze my entire computer like it did the first time I tried to test this game out. So we're gonna go in here. Chapter 1, A Tight Squeeze. Nothing wrong with that sentence. As an ex-employee of Playtime Co., you finally return to the factory many years after everybody within disappears. <laughs> and she is the first truly intelligent doll in the world. A little girl can talk to her. Poppy gives her answers. She is the first doll actually able to have a conversation with a child. Hard to believe... Ugh. Ugh. Oh. Poppy's as lovable as a real girl, and she talks like one too. She got that woody string. My name is Poppy. I love you. Somebody's poisoned the water hole. my shoes? Why, of course, Poppy. Just like a real girl, Poppy always wants to look her best. Perfect. Thank you. Her hair is sturdy and won't come out when you brush it. And smells just like a poppy flower. Is there anything else you'd like to say, Poppy? I'm a real girl. Just like you. I don't like the eyes. What's the time? Playtime! And if you've ever wanted to see how all of the nation's favorite toys were created, Playtime Co. is now offering factory tours at just $2.99 a person. An Damn. entire hour in the most magical toy factory on Earth. What are you waiting for? Come visit the factory. We can't... Um, I think there's something wrong with this video. Poppy playtime. <laughs> oh, snap. Now, thank you. Everyone thinks the staff disappeared 10 years ago. We're... We're still here. Find the flower. Who wrote that letter? Because you need to go back to school. Vintage Poppy commercial. Oh, that's what we just watched. Hi, my name is Leith Pierre. Leith Pierre. Innovation here at the Playtime Co. Toy Factory. Cool. If you're seeing this, then you're trespassing. Ah, crap. We play this little tape on loop whenever we close the factory for the day. So, trespasser, just to make you aware... While we pride ourselves primarily on our high-quality toys and excellent child care, we also pride ourselves on our security. For example, this facility is full of hidden motion triggers, which, once set off, will turn on the factory's emergency alarms and directly contact the authorities. And that's one of the more tame aspects of our security system. No spoilers. So, you've got my warning. It's not too late to turn around. I just hope that you're certain whatever you're doing is worth it. You know what, Lathe Pierre? I agree. Let's get the hell out of here. E to open doors. Boogie bot. Yeet! Dang. Bruh. Alright. And hey, what's in the register? Open it up. Oh! Wait. Green, pink, yellow, red. Let's go. Oh. Yeah, I know how to pick up items, game. Thank you. The grab pack. Oh, wait. I'm just going to watch it regardless, because... Hold both cannons. Cannons? 
Hmm. Only fire at small objects slash handles. Do not fire at a co-worker. Oh! oh! <laughs> Injury! Wire is conductive. Used for rewiring. Now that seems safe. Thank you. Use your grab pack responsibly. So I used to work here, so of course I would probably know how to use this thing, right? What's the time? Playtime, Co. WD-40. All right. Now I just need to remember how to use this thing for a second. Oh, hi, friend. Hi. There you go. Hi. Hi, let me palm your face. Huggy Wuggy. Playtime Co. has designed hundreds of distinct toys, but none connected with people more than that of Huggy Wuggy. Our founder, Elliot Ludwig, aimed to create a toy which could hug you forever. As is always true. Wait, hang on. Does this say... Does this... Uh... Squeeze me until I pop, huh? I'm on to you, Huggy. I've played as you. I've ran from you in Project Playtime. You think you scary? Nah, I've dealt with you before. Here, high five? Nah. <laughs> oh, looks like we are gonna have to go to power. Um. Hey, Huggy, how did you get that? I just looked up. Bro, what? Hang on. Oh, oh. Oh my gosh, bruh. I. Uh. Oh, dude, I got them kicked. Okay. Oh. Bruh, that thing's showing his teeth. I don't like this, dude. I don't like this. Just give me the key. I've made a huge mistake. Did I do it? Can I go back out? Oh my god! Oh <sighs> Huggy! Hooray! I hate my life. Oh, that thing was like a snack. Stairway to hell, nice. Glad that door's locked. Just run. Just run, get me out of here. Oh, my other hand is over there. Alright, maybe the orange tape is somewhere around here. 12 seconds later. I knew it! I knew it! I see you up there! I see you up there! I see him! Oh! Hell no! And I see you up there too. I knew it! I knew it! He's. Bro, I knew it! Oh! Crap! Now, where is this damn tape? I don't want to freaking miss any of the tapes right now. But, like, I don't know where it is. Yeah, give him my other hand. Damn. Alright. Cool. Great, now I can grab things double time.
Okay. Oh, I found it. There it is. Rich, where are they keeping the huggy boxes? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Remember when maintenance left in a sweep of this place? No. Exactly. Nobody in this stupid company knows what they're doing. Oh, I swear, I haven't seen a single box in its place since they started flooding the storehouse with orphanage junk. Right. I get it. It's a nice program and all on brand, but... Uh, it's just hard to be happy about it when manufacturing's on our necks about it, because we can't buy stupid hockey boxes! Rich. Calm down, dude. That's me, guaranteed. Probably not like the probably not like being super mad about boxes, but I mean I'm like is that a word? Also another thing is what kind of VHS is this? You just put your tape you just put the tape in and it just eats it? It's gone now, like. Anyway, let's get the heck out of here. You see what I mean about the art though? Like look at this. Alright, dude, get this get the baby off the thing. Get it off of there. Got it. All right, that was easy. Damn, this is dark as hell, dude. I can't see anything right now. Oh. All right, cool. Thanks, thanks. Oh, dude, they dumping baby heads on me and stuff. Uh, make a friend needs power. Uh, make a friend. Our founder Elliot Ludwig was a visionary. He set for the stage for all play dumb the greatest feat. Yet of all the amazing things, the uh, was one of the most creative, impressive, and advanced. It's solely responsible for nearly every Playtime Co. toy sold on the market to this day. All it needs is to be fed the proper parts, then it will paint, assemble, and do a quality inspection of the toy all on its own. Gone is the need for complex sorting and or back-breaking labor. This machine can do all that and more. Damn, and it's night. This was made in 1960, and it's using that kind of technology? Bruh. Bring it around here. Oh, I got it. Let's go. Whoopee! Did I- did I do it? Can I just like... See what I mean when I say that I think I broke my ankle? Power on. Uh... Oh my god, that was loud as all hell! Oh, I have to open the levers myself. Okay. Am I gonna get some sort of like weird doll hybrid pet thing? Okay, once again, where is this pink tape at? He using lasers? Again, 1960 and it's using lasers. Okay, where is this pink tape? There's my pet. Yay. Oh. I'm dumb. So, Stella, what made you want to work at the Playtime Co. Factory? Oh, I know- Being with toys when I was young was so magical. I could go straight from my bedroom floor to anywhere in the world. Was such a great feeling and being able to work at a toy factory somewhere that can provide kids with that same experience that's a pretty great feeling too sometimes though i really really wish i could go back to being a kid i mean and it's weird because adults are just kids but older i don't think anyone ever really feels like an adult but your body just gets older and older and then you die. 
poof. <laughs> Human bodies just can't stay young forever. There's things, though, like some trees that can stay alive even while being way older than the person. I mean, the oldest people to ever live are still younger than those. So I guess everyone is always young relative to something. I want to ask Stella. No, I'm kidding. All right, I think we're getting a little off track. Yeah. So I know that interviewer, he's, he was the person who taught you the survivor tutorial in the first... In the, yeah, the survival tutorial in Project Playtime. He was like, he is Leith, Leith Pierre's assistant or something. Hi there. My name is not Leith Pierre. I am his assistant. My boss is on vacation. And welcome to your job as a resource extraction specialist. First, let's start by reiterating something very important you probably didn't read from that lengthy contract you probably don't remember signing. Um, put my toy there. Did that just take it from me? I don't get to keep it. <laughs> That's good. All right. I don't like that. I really don't like that. I don't. Why is it so dark? Oh, sh crap. Oh. Oh, nah. Bro, look at him stop moving. Good evening. Bye bye. Oh, now I got a flashlight? Bro, okay. The tr oh, snap. Oh, crap, dude. Nope, turn that way. Turn that. Nope. I'm not looking back. Go. Shoot. Turn that way. Alright, that. Oh, God. I am slowly having a panic attack. Get down, get down, get down. Wait, nope. Turn that way. <gasps> um, go that way. That scared the living. Oh my god. Oh. No, 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 no. Oh, it's not. Uh. Pull it. Pull it. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, oh my god. Bruh, he is for real bleeding right now. He is bleeding. Look, that's blood. That's blood. That's also blood. Oh my god, dude. I never, I didn't even get jump scared. The door just closed in my face and it scared the ever loving crap out of me. Oh my gosh. What the hell is that? Is that a hand? The prototype. Cooperation is evidently within his skill set, as well as the skill set of all other experiments of his type. Those still missing. Oh shoot, I'm sorry. His absence was a flaw in the scientific process, which should have under no circumstances been left unaccounted for. That's why I'm making this log, so that the same mistake won't be made twice. Future experiments will need to be contained and disposed of in a secure location. I'm not worried about myself. One breakthrough and I'll be back. We must forge onwards in the name of science. Whether those who are beneath us understand it or not. End of... I was wondering... I was trying to... I turned up the volume in the game. Just... To, just to have you guys probably hear the sounds that I was hearing of the screaming and pounding in the background and it literally straight up said screaming and pounding in the background so I knew I wasn't losing my mind that kind of looks like oil could be rust but nah that is legit that is legitimate blood that is red blood blood no stop go back run I can't go anywhere I'm stuck down here so you're gonna have to deal with it game
You started looking at me, bro. You opened my case. Yes, I did. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Now I need to get chapter two. <laughs> I hope you guys did enjoy this episode of Pop. Well, sorry. I'm messing up my outro. Anyway, guys, if you did enjoy this episode of Poppy Playtime, and if you want to see me play Project Playtime with Pooza, please leave a like and comment down below and hit the subscribe button and that little bun notification so you know when I upload next. And I'll see you and possibly some other characters from this game in the next episode. Peace!